very fun. It's been a great experience, and um, it's going by quick. Your expect how are your expectations different this year as opposed to last year? They're not different. I, I think the. Uh, the difference from this camp is that everybody here expects us to get it done or to be one of the teams that is playing in the June. I think that's the big difference. And of course, with Dwight here now, that gives you that extra dimension that you've been waiting for for so long. Well, yeah, I mean, Andrew was phenomenal, but, you know, adding Dwight, I mean, Dwight's, uh, you know, hungry to prove himself here, and, you know, Andrew kind of wanted to do his own thing and have his own team, which he has, and I'm sure he's going to do fantastic. Um, but adding Dwight to the mix, he's, he's hungry for this championship and to be here in this situation, and it should be fun. Can any comparisons be drawn between the Lakers and what the Heat went through the first year they had LeBron? No, I don't think so. You know, it, it's, it's, it's different. You know, the, the Heat, you know, had two players that were really, you know, similar. You know, it's uh, different in size, but hey, similar in, in style and, and, uh, and what they do and how they handle the ball. You know, with us, it's a little different. I mean, it's, you know, Steve's a the primary facilitator, ball handler. You know, I can go back to my natural state, which is scoring the ball and, you know, attacking the rim. And, you know, we all know what Dwight does. We all know what Kyle does. So we all do something different. So it's going to be, Steve's going to make it easier on you. It makes it easier for everybody. I mean, it's, it's, you know, that, that's what he does best is he playmates. And, uh, he's a great quarterback out there on the floor. Tell me about the talent and experience you guys have with the team back from Well, um, staying within our system and, uh, and utilizing all options you know, to make everybody a threat at any given time. Hey, Cole, can you tell us a little bit? Yeah. Well, no, nah, I mean, I was, I was energized, obviously. I mean, it was, it was exciting times. I, I could feel the energy in L.A. all the way across the waters. You know? It was just kind of one of those things that was just, you know, it was just kind of bubbling. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm very excited. Do you lean on Kobe and the experience when you had Gary Payton and Carl Malone in terms of distribution and, and four big stars that you can bring that experience to this star strategy? Um, I mean, a little bit, but not not too much, though. I mean, it's, it's kind of it's kind of different. It's, uh, you know, we got those guys pretty much at the end of their careers, um, you know, and we were still pretty similar. Like, if you look like at Gary's game and my game, we're kind of similar in how we played and how we like to post up and where we like to catch the ball and operate. So, uh, and, and Carl liked his area on the mid post, as did Shaq. So, it's kind of a lot of similarities between that group. Um, but although it fit pretty well, you know, we didn't finish the, the year out the way we wanted to. Um, but with this group, it's, it's different in the sense that we all truly do something different. Talking about what was your reaction? Could you say that this might be the most exciting season going into this? Um, yeah, I mean, it could be. I think that the season that was pretty much as exciting as you know, from the start was our uh, was, was the year when Phil came here to coach the first year. I mean, that was, there was a lot of energy behind that team and a lot of high expectations for that team. Kobe, what was your reaction about? when you first heard that you got Dwight? Um, well, I mean, I was just pretty calm and just wanted to make sure that that is what went through. Because, you know, I mean, it's, that thing just kept changing every minute. So, um, but I was excited and, you know, he reached out to me and, you know, we had a nice little conversation about it. And from that point, it just became, became more focused about what we need to do with it. How did that conversation go? Oh, it was great. I mean, he's just, you know, he's just very thankful um, to be here. I mean, he just feels very blessed to be here. And having gone through that whole ordeal, and to finally be in a position where he's very excited and ready to go is, uh, it just feels like it's a blessing. Have you heard yeah, Dwight's impersonation of you? Yeah, I've heard it several times. <laughs> well, you know, he's done it. He, he, he's, um, you know, even on the Olympic team in 2008, he, he would come up with, you know, a myriad of impersonations. Uh, different players and things like that. Did hey, Cole, you I know you guys brought some assistant white? coaches. Uh, do you have a sense of what this offense is going to look like? You guys going to do some crunch? Sure, sure. I mean, I'm very familiar with it. I mean, I've played against it for years. Uh, it's, uh, I've studied it a lot. I mean, there are a lot of similar principles they're trying, but it's 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 pretty different. How, how are you and Dwight going to play together, Colby? How, 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 do, how do you see you and Dwight playing together? You know, the eight personalities, that sort of thing. Um, I don't see it as being an issue at all. We just, we do different things. Uh, I 
I think you know having Steve helps tremendously. I mean, it's, it's, it makes it a bit. It's, it's a different dynamic than it was when I was here with Shaq. Yeah. I had to do something that I'm naturally not that I naturally don't do, which is be a quarterback, to make plays for other people, my hands full. Um, so the responsibility of him getting the ball <laughs> fell on me. It's like this is not what I do. <laughs> but I figured it out. But here, you know, that's Steve. Steve's the quarterback. Right? And, you know, he has a great system and a pressure offense to kind of play around with and manipulate. And you know, I just slide to my natural spot. I'm very excited to have him. I, I'm, I'm happy that he's here. I think it's a, it's a very, very smart decision by management and people. You know, and the respect that he has from his peers around the league is, is, uh, is something that a lot of people don't know. Is Kobe so you know, it's, it's like us. Yeah, I think the, the, the talks that I'll have with Dwight are really just about focusing on his craft. You know, he has the determination and the willingness to be the best. He wants to be the best. And, uh, I certainly can help him with that, and I will help him with that. It's probably the only thing. Hey, look, it, it's, it's, this is, I got a question earlier about whose team this is. Yeah, I, I don't get into the, you know, well, you share, no, it's my team. Right, but I want to make sure that your wife, when I retire, this is going to be real. I want to teach them everything I possibly know so that when I step away, this organization can ride on and I've never left. Kind of like magic. All right. No, I mean, listen, this organization has done so much for me. I'm, I'm so thankful for it. You know, and that's one of the things, conversations that Jimmy and I had over the summer. It's like, you know, you have an opportunity to get the right gift because you know, I want to see this organization continue to flourish and continue to win some championships. I'm, I'm very happy for the opportunity. Oh, you know, talk. Yeah, we did. Yeah, a great, great, great communication. It sounds like you have a shot you. Just, uh, I think we started with the dinner over the season last season, and we just uh, been in touch. With the what we talked about, we talked a lot about about uh, recent months. The light at the end of the tunnel as far as your career is concerned. Does that put even more pressure on you and this team to win this year? And how much can that serve as a distraction to you? Because you have to be totally, you know, into everything. Well, I, in terms of myself, I mean, I've seen my coach go through it twice. You know, coach Jackson, I mean, how he handled it. It's kind of stayed in the moment. It didn't really seem to be affected by it. I'll do the same thing. And for us as a team, I mean, there's pressure that comes along with it. But, that's part of our you know, profession. That's part of every, you know, everybody's job has to deal with some type of pressure. And uh, as professional athletes, we have to be able to step up and meet that challenge. You will. But it has gone. It has gone really quick. Oh yeah, it has gone. It's going. It's blown by. I can't believe it's my 17th time you know, doing this whole ordeal. So. What are you doing? I'm standing right behind you. <laughs> yeah. It's me breathing on your neck, sorry. I think it's my armpit, actually. It's definitely wearing good. This time last year, how was the guys who were here for both years? I mean, just the attitude. Are you guys more excited or invigorated by what's on the offseason? You guys seem more focused. More focused. You know, meta made it a point you know, right after we lost to Oklahoma in the locker room saying, you know, everybody get in shape now. Be prepared now. You know, this can't happen again. So I came to camp out of shape last year. That won't happen next season. And it hasn't. I mean, you know, Powell, I talked to Powell with the summer during the Olympics and he's just he's locked in. He's ready to go. I mean it's it's not a lot of you know, this is fun, but it's we're, we're we know what we have to focus on. It's kind of sense that in Is this the best collection of town you had for yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we're good. I don't know if you're prepared to do what that other team did and count the number of championships. Yeah, I just want to. I just want to count up the six. Guys, last question. Kobe, Kobe I'm curious. Is this, is this talent that you got better brother. compared to the other great team that you had? Could this be the best? Or? On its face, on its face, it's the best talent that I've been around. Now, um, you know whether that translates into. But in a championship remains to be seen, but just on paper, I mean, obviously you're talking about defensive player of the years, MVPs, you know, all stuff, you're talking about a myriad of things, and guys who are top of their position or have been tops of their position one for another. This is it's pretty dope. I know right, this, thank time, you. this might not be the right stuff, but have you thought about 
legacy. How many championships? I mean, we're getting down towards the latter part of your career. Have yeah. you thought about that yet? Yeah. No, no, obviously, I've given it some thought. Um, but then I try not to think about it right away because there's so much work to be done directly ahead of us. Um, so I just try to put one foot in front of the other and kind of let all that stuff take care of itself.